The critical point apparatus item number U104001 from 3B Scientific. The critical point apparatus is unique in that it does not use mercury. The apparatus uses sulfur hexafluoride, which is a colorless, odorless, non-toxic, and non-flammable gas. The critical point apparatus can be used for both qualitative and quantitative measurements, including the transition from a gas to a liquid, critical opalescence, and recording isotherms in PV and PVP diagrams. Before beginning the experiment, the SF6 gas must be attached via 1/8 inch copper tubing. A compression fitting is included to ensure a secure connection to the device. Do not over tighten the compression nut. Flush the system several times in order to eliminate any air and ensure only SF6 gas is in the measuring cell. Experiment set up. After decreasing the volume of the cell to a measurement of 10 millimeters, slowly open the regulating valve until a maximum pressure of 10 bar has been reached. Close the regulating valve and begin increasing the volume of the cell via the hand wheel to the 46 millimeter mark. Open the valve again until a maximum pressure of 10 bar has been attained and close the valve. Performing the experiment. Turn the hand wheel while observing the pressure on the large manometer. SF6 gas will then begin to liquefy at about 27 bar with a critical pressure of 37.6 bar. Once the critical pressure has been reached, return the hand wheel to its original position. Notice the bubbles that appear in the liquid as it begins to return to a gas. Safety valve on the back of the apparatus to relieve pressure quickly and safely should the apparatus reach unsafe temperatures and pressures. A plexiglass casing for the measurement cell in the event pressure reaches above the allowed levels. All safety features are designed to protect users and the equipment in the event pressures become too high. The critical point apparatus item number U104001 from 3B Scientific.